Lenore. I'm Cecilia. I'm Françoise. And this is Keen's cup. Today we are ready for our next episode of uh, French in the Kitchen cooking. Uh, we will do some Madeleine. Madeleine is a traditional sponge cake from uh, the east of France, the area of uh, Commercy, Nancy. It has the shape of a shell, so it's why we use this kind of mold, metallic mold. Uh, several legends are attached to this recipe. It could have been a cook who uh, discovered this recipe and prepared it for a duck uh, in the 8th, 17th century in France. It was the first time a metallic mold was used. Or it could have been linked to uh, the pilgrimage of Saint-Jacques de Compostelle between Spain and France because uh, in Compostelle you also have uh, this shape of um, scallop you can find everywhere. The Madeleine is also in France a reference to a book, especially um, written by Marcel Proust uh, in, uh, in the book In Search of Lost Time. In the book All About Swan, Proust explained that eating a Madeleine remind him some of his childhood memory. So it's very famous for that. When you eat some Madeleine in France, you are always thinking about Proust. And now we are ready to cook. And uh, we are going to do two different types of Madeleine. One is the traditional one, the French Madeleine, sweet Madeleine, and the other one, the French savoury Madeleine. So we are going to begin by this one, and after that we, we jump of the French Madeleine the sweet one. Hello Mara, we are Hi. ready to do the French savoury madeleine. Are you ready to cook? I am ready. Okay, so here is the recipe. Okay, so you can measure the butter. So we need two tablespoons of butter. So 30 grams. So we'll warm the bird and during that time you can whisk the eggs with some salt and pepper. some salt, just a pinch of salt, not too much, a yeah, little bit more perhaps, yes, good, yeah, it's good, and a little bit of pepper, okay, super, and now we can whisk, until it's fluffy, exactly, go ahead, This is up for cup. And you need another one. Yep. And you need a two teaspoon of baking powder. You can add
super. And now you can add this mixture to the eggs. Spoon of milk. Okay, and you can also add a tablespoon of olive oil. You put two or one? Just one. Okay, so two. Oh. So another one, please. into the mixture and we will add some parmigiano okay so you can add two tablespoons of parmigiano cheese and then after we will add some comté this is a strong but into the bowl or into the... Yeah, go ahead. We can put it down into there. Okay, super. Done. So you can mix a little bit again. Add some cheese. You can cut some cheese. So something like Comté, Gruyère, Emmental is a little bit soft, but the Gruyère is more tasty, so it's why we put some Gruyère. And you can also add some. So I will cut a piece, and you will. Cut it in small, very small pieces. Same like this. So you remove the rind. And exactly. And then, so you can add some small pieces like this. Okay, so I let you cut the cheese. So to add the cheese, we will do it by hand. So we will remove. Okay, so you can add the pieces in the powder after. Yeah, go ahead. And you can add some pesto if you like it. So you can do a tablespoon or a little bit more if you like. A tablespoon will be okay. And then you can mix with the spoon to incorporate the pesto and the pieces of cheese. And the batter will be ready. It smells good, huh? Eh? Yeah. Very garlicky. Super easy, huh? Eh? What do you think? Yeah, very. <laughs> 
So we will put now the butter in the fridge for a while. So the butter is 30 minutes, something like this. In the fridge. We will cover it with some, oh, sorry. some plastic. for the fridge. Okay, now we are ready to cook the savory madeleine. So we have a nice mold, the small one, so if you see it's cute. Uh, you can grab the dough in the fridge please, Maha. So we will put some spray to grease a little bit the, the mold, you can do that. So we will use canola oil, so not too much, but just if you can spray it. So we'll use that one. Yeah, like a bread dough or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But then there's the, the chunks of the cheese. Yeah, you can feel that. <laughs> okay, so the oven is almost ready. So you can do that. So you just try like this. Go ahead. So we have baking powder in the dough, so it will raise a little bit, so you don't feel them too much. Yeah, a little bit less perhaps even. Slippery with the, the oil. Yeah. Uh. Okay, I will turn the. No, oh, you're okay? Turn it like this. It's easier for you. Thank you. So it's nice to have a small, you know, Madeleine, especially if you do with an, an appetizer, it's nice to have some little one. And for the sugar, we will do, uh, we'll use another mold, bigger. So for sure, we will cook them a little bit less than the others, because right. they will be smaller. So it's ready to go in the oven, so you can, Okay. okay, so they will cook for six minutes and we will check. So we are taking the Madeleine from 
So Mara, are you ready for the French melon? So that's the sweet one, right? Yeah. So sugar, what we need? Of course sugar, flour, honey, a little bit of canola oil baking powder, butter, and uh, lemon zest, and eggs, I forgot. So, uh, to begin, you need to prepare the butter, melt the butter into um, a bowl in the microwave. So, there's the butter, you need a doo -doo -doo. half a cup of butter, or if you prefer, prefer in grams, one twenty-five grams. It's easier with this kind of butter, so I'll let you do. Number we're turning it? 125. Okay. Take this part. Almost there. Just 10 more grams. And you should be fine. You're not fine. Microwave. I would say uh, 15 minutes, 1 minute at least. <coughs> During this time, you are going to um, take the eggs and with the eggs, with the sugar. So, put the eggs into the bowl. After that, you have to measure the sugar, the sugar, the two thirds of cup. How much do we need? Two thirds. Okay. <coughs> During this time, we have the butter melt. We set aside. You want to pull it down a bit. Okay. So, I think you're good. Is this perfect? Great. Now you need 
need to add two teaspoons of honey. So you can use whatever you want. Uh, I just pick up uh, Trader Joe's honey. This one is good. Two tablespoons. Oh, teaspoons. 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 Yes. Okay. So we'll stick it again. Two minutes. Oh, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are going to add the flour and the baking powder. So for the flour, it's uh, one cup and two, and two teaspoons of baking powder. Two teaspoons, one cup. Yeah. Lies, just eggs, flour, yeah. baking powder, you, uh, just to mix everything in the bowl. Yeah, it's easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. The only thing you need to add lemon zest, so you have to work on it. So it's a little, little bit of work, but not so much. So you can add the flour in the bowl and mix everything together. Is it good? It looks like custard or something. Yes, it's normal. It's perfectly normal. Okay. Perfect. So now, do you know how to do lemon zest? Yes. Yes? Yeah? So what do you need? Uh, the grater zester machine thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the before that, you have, what do you need to do? Okay. Wash. Oh, wash the lemons. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you, do, you never know. They are organic. But you never know. You never know. And the best way to do it is not like usually you do it like this. It's the best way to do it is like this because you can see what you do and you don't want to take the white part, right. only the zest. And if you do, I'm, I'm taking the macro plane like this, you can see what you do. Okay? Okay. So we just want the yellow part, no white part. It's a little bit of work, but requires <laughs> a muscle. Yeah, and you have two lemons to do. Sorry, you have a second one. <laughs>
course you for this recipe you can put a different flavor if you prefer to have vanilla you put vanilla or orange you just do the same thing with, uh, with an orange makes sense but <laughs> the traditional recipe is more with lemon and of course we can do you can add in the mixture some um, chocolate chips but today we decide to do the traditional one and after that at your own you can do different things you can try different flowers. Because you know why you don't want the white part? Because it's very uh, acid, sour. Ah, it's painful, huh? <laughs> I can see. <laughs> This is the last step, after that we are done. Ah, oh, that was okay. quick. So, remember? Okay, okay. So, maybe, uh, of course, you need to whisk a little bit. Perfect. And now, the batter is ready. You need to keep the batter refrigerate during a few hours, the best is 24 hours and uh, you need to cover with a plastic wrap and you need to touch the batter so you are going to do it. Okay. 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 So why you do this? You do this because if you, of course, if you keep this in the fridge during a long time. After that, you are going to have a little crust on the top of the mixture and it should be good for after. Okay, perfect. Like this. And now, we can put it in the fridge. Okay, Mira. We are good now. We set aside the the do uh, the bell during a few hours. And what we do this is because you want to have a very nice madeleine with a little bump on the top, and that's why you keep it refrigerated during some hours. So now we are going to spray some oil on the top of the mold, and uh, I'm sure you can do it. <laughs> You know how to do it. Maybe you can do just over the thing. Over the thing, yes. And don't hesitate to put that everywhere. Perfect. If you don't have a spray, you can use butter. And after you put some flour on the top and you remove the the flour and you have something you can use instead of use the spray. But it's more convenient. Right. So now very easy. You take two spoons and you put some batter on each different. Not too much. Like this. A bit more. There we go. So the best way to do it is that you take this one and okay. uh -huh, it's not easy, huh? Mm -mm. <laughs> with Francoise you, you did it with a plastic uh, bag. Do you think it was easier? Um I think it depends. Because <laughs> Because you have two ways to do it. If you don't have a plastic, a plastic bag, or if you prefer to do with spoons, it's, uh, the result is the same, just for you, what you prefer to do. Okay. Do you think it's difficult? A little yeah. bit. Huh? Yeah. Oops. I tried to do 
So we breed the oven, it's almost done. The temperature is supposed to be 405 degrees and uh, you are going to cook it during 10 to 12, 13 minutes, depends of course of the oven. So now we're good. And to put it in the oven? Ah yes, I think you can do it. Close enough. Yes, yeah, close enough. <laughs> Today we're going to be taste testing our newly created madelines. So who's ready to taste them, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh la la! Super! <laughs> Magnifique! Fantastique! Are they good? I like them very much, yeah. Thank you, thank okay. you. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. Like the lemon, it's so lemon. Don't put lemon. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. 